Now Matthew continues, that you may be children of your Father which is in heaven. However, I read ahead and saw the verse after that continues, for if you love them which love you, what reward have you? That phrase is later on in Luke, for if you love them which love you, what thank have you? However, before that in Luke it says, and as you would that men should do to you, do also to them likewise. So I could put that from Luke, insert this extra verse from Matthew, that you may be children of your Father which is in heaven, continue on, and then both, for if you love them which love you. This is in the same speech, right before he says this important line, for if you love them which love you, what thank have you? What reward have you? It says in Matthew, verse 46, but these verses before, I will put them together. Anyway, after, pray for them which spitefully use you and persecute you, at the end of 44 in Matthew 5, it goes on, so I know I'm going to save this verse, that you may be children of your father for later. I'm going to insert what came before, because it's written here in Luke, and him that smite you on the one cheek, off of the other also. So, that is halfway through verse 39, with the verse right before it in Matthew, eye for an eye and tooth for a tooth. So I'll put those verses from Matthew. Matthew only. I'll start from verse 38. You've heard that it is said has been said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you that you resist not evil, but whosoever shall resist not evil, whosoever shall smite you on the weak cheek. This whosoever shall is equivalent to and to him that smite you on the one cheek from Luke. So what should it be? to him that smites you on the one cheek, or to whosoever shall smite you on your right cheek? To him or to whosoever? I think whosoever is definitely more encompassing. If I have the choice between him that smites you or whosoever shall smite you, I do want to go with whosoever. Maybe it's just a product of my time, but it does seem more inclusive. So I'm gonna go with that. Although in Matthew it says, to whosoever shall smite you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. They both say him at some point or other in this verse. Luke says it earlier and then just offer also the other, not to him, just offer. Matthew says, whosoever offer to him the other. So I could totally cut out him or I could have him twice in the beginning and end. I could say, whosoever shall smite you on the right cheek, offer the other also. Therefore, making it very clear, even if a woman smacks you, still be forgiving, be good, respond with love. I mean, don't be submissive. It's not good for someone to violate your, your right to life or liberty or property and just smack you because they want to. But in the spirit of forgiveness, to show them that, they, that you mean no ill will, that it's not just get even whenever you can, forgive, show that you are loving in that manner, that you want the best for them, even if they hate you and they want evil for you. I think I'm going to cut out the hymns. I'll have it whosoever from Matthew for the first part, and then I'll have, instead of turn to him, the other also, I'm going to say offer also the other. Because it's not just the, the point, what he's really saying, what he's getting across is, I guess don't just defend yourself and fight back. Instead, make yourself available. Open up a, a blind spot, a weakness that they can easily attack you in hopes that it will cut through their heart and see if you're not being malicious. So the, the point is that you are offering. Not just that you're turning, you're turning to offer. So the offer is more important then turning so offer the other also but then I'd just be cutting out to him instead of turn because I'm just exchanging turn for offer I'd be skipping to him uh, well I don't have to cut it out so I guess I'll keep it the word that and shall from earlier whosoever shall smite you or and to him that smite you that I have to choose between I'm gonna pick shall just for style I have a thought though, the word to, I could say but whosoever shall, or I could say but to whosoever shall smite you, offer to him the other also. You're offering to him, 
That way I'm just including more words. Yeah. To whosoever, I can put that in there without changing anything. So, and to him that I can cut out because I have but to whosoever shall. Smite is both. Smite you, smite you on the one, or smite you on your right cheek. Uh, I don't think right or left really matters. What matters is that if he smites you on one, you're offering the other. I mean, it would be stupid to say, Jesus said only if he smites you on the right cheek. Therefore, if he starts by smiting you on the left cheek, that you don't have to offer the other. That's not true. It's more in line with what he's saying. Be merciful by opening yourself up for attack again. So to say one, although one is in italics, and right is not in italics. So I guess I got to go with that. Yeah, one was added, so I'll stick with right. Smite you on the right cheek or your right cheek. Saying your is more direct, like you're teaching someone and you're trying to prove something to them and convince them of something. But saying the makes it sound like a, a more general principle for the whole world. Whosoever shall smite you on the right cheek. He's talking to everyone. If I say your right cheek, it's more specific. So, well, I guess if it's more specific, that might help people pay more attention to realize, yes, he is talking about me as well. Yeah, I'll stick with your instead of the. Your right. So your right is Matthew only instead of the one. Now, realize I'm going against what I would have originally picked just for the sake of what is most clearly written here. I wouldn't have put it this way, but I am because I care more about what is actually being said than what I want to say. On your right cheek. Cheek is both. Matthew has a comma and then turn to him the other also. So I'll put that comma because I like how it's slowed down. It's broken down to be more impactful than just rushing through by saying, smite you on the right cheek off of the other also. I mean, it still gets the point across, but the comma really puts emphasis. Offer, and then I will put to him, because there's not really a need to cut it out. So this is Matthew only, to him. I think that because I'm putting to him, it makes more sense to have also at the end. Offer to him the other also, instead of saying, offer to him also the other seems to flow better. If that to him was not here, if it was just offer also the other, as it is originally written in Luke, it would be fine. But I'm going to move the also just because. Okay, offer to him the other also. I'll explain in the addresses that also is moved 